Now to the east northeast part of the state where over the weekend two separate gunfire incidents left one man dead and sent three others to the hospital. NBC 5's John Hawk spoke with Vermont State Police today to get updates on both situations. In St. Johnsbury late Friday, Vermont State Police say three men entered this apartment on Harrison Avenue around 9 o'clock and started shooting, leaving bullet holes through the window. A neighbor had called the St. Johnsbury Police Department and reported hearing gunshots. So um, the local PD initially uh, responded and found that two men at that residence um, had been shot and wounded. Authorities say suspects took off in a black SUV. Two men were injured and taken to Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center. They remain hospitalized at this time and are continuing to undergo treatment there. Police don't think the gunfire was random. BSP doesn't believe that there is any kind of generalized danger to the public. Uh, this appears to have been a specific targeted event directed at the individuals at that location uh, and not a random shooting. On Saturday in Danville, BSP responding to North Danville Road around 1 in the afternoon. They say one man was killed and another was injured after an exchange of gunfire. Autopsy results show 50-year-old Wayne Payton was shot in the head. The medical examiner completed an autopsy uh, yesterday, Sunday, um, on Mr. Payton and determined that the cause of death was a gunshot wound to the head and the manner of death was a homicide. Police say Payton and another man, 23-year-old Tolerian Searles, knew each other and lived together. Authorities say the men got into a fight before shots were fired. Searles is in stable condition at Dartmouth Hitchcock. Investigators are looking into both incidents in the Northeast Kingdom, but are making one thing clear. There was no connection at all between the St. Johnsbury shooting and the Danville shooting. It was just uh, unfortunate coincidence in terms of uh, timing and proximity of the locations. In St. Johnsbury, John Hawks, NBC5 News.